All right, so when you think of a high performance professional athlete, you often think of speed. Agility. Talent. Dedication. Grit. Hard work. Height. Yeah, Hi height is probably one of the most important in a lot of sports. Too. Bigger, faster, stronger is something that we use all the time for a reason. I've seen that on the tagline sometimes. <laughs> Once or twice. Once or twice. <laughs> but we are here to say, screw height. What about the short kings? Yeah. Because you know what? Uh, no. Short kings. Short kings. Listen, some people might think of it as something negative, but listen, you are royalty, my friend. And we're going to start with someone like Marcus Stroman, who a lot of people might be like, oh, you're a short king. Yeah, he's like, okay, height doesn't measure heart, though. And he made that his whole entire yeah. brand. That is who he is now. He has it tattooed across his chest. And guess what? Despite his size, he's turned into a, a, a pretty decent major league pitcher, right? He's yeah. won a Golden Glove in 2017. He has multiple seasons, 200 innings pitch, multiple seasons, 150 strikeouts. This guy, and you know what? Listen, he's taller on the mound, so you're yeah, much well, more of a threat when you get those couple inches. A legend in Toronto for what he did during their ALCS runs, too, as well. Oh, he's fantastic. And so height doesn't measure heart. We salute you, Marcus Stroman. The reason that I love this Short Kings segment, Ashley, <laughs> besides the name, is I get to talk about two of my favorite players of all time, Maurice the Rocket Richard yeah. and Henri the Pocket Rocket Richard. I love it for two reasons. Maurice was 5'9", Henri was 5'7". Henri was speed and finesse, where Maurice was that goals and grit. Okay. And what, what do you do when you're a brother, except for play on the team that you grew up watching with your brother? They were just dominant during their era. The best name in sports, maybe, the godfather of small ball, Muggsy Bogues. At least the best <laughs> title for a book. It is. Muggsy wasn't just a flash in the pan kind of player. No. He played for 14 years. He had a bona fide career. Also, super nice guy. Also, really like him because he threw a little bit of shade at Brad at a charity uh, basketball I, tournament. I did a charity tournament. Yeah. In Toronto where we had a draft format 28 players I was actually drafted seven strong strong draft yeah. but I was drafted before like Charles Oakley and Muggsy Bogues <laughs> Muggsy came up to me he was like hey um, who are you <laughs> fair question but I will say we played the tournament the guy can still move and not only that he's the nicest guy I stayed after for hours yeah. to sign autographs from every fan that wanted to he's a hooper he beat the odds he's so he popular asked too. Honest questions because he was his height actually added to his career because what he was doing on the court was so spectacular, yep. but he was also such a good player because of the attention he was getting from what he was doing with how small he was. Really and truly, like I think the, sh the name Short Kings, like depending on who's <laughs> saying it to whom, there can be a little bit of animosity tied to it, but we are really here to say, listen, yep. these guys set an example for young men and women playing everywhere that like even if you are a little bit undersized, yeah. even if you are kind of looked past, picked last in recess, whatever the case may be, there's still a place for you if you work hard enough and so these guys are a perfect example of there all that. There wouldn't be the Marty St. Louis of the world had there not been people to set that precedent before. Like you in grade four, five four. Grade nine. Short king. Grade ten. To a medium king though, look at you grow. <laughs>